Hey everybody, it's Scott again from Adelaide, Australia and the International Space University's Southern Hemisphere Summer Space Program. It's week two, everything's going really great, we're having a very good time. And this week we have some really exciting lectures and workshops and I want to bring to you a little bit of the excitement of what we have going on. One of the people we're really happy to have with us this week is ISU alum, Dr. Sarah Jane Pell. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Scott. It's great to be here. Oh, we're thrilled to have you. Thanks so much for coming. You're welcome. You're welcome. So you're doing a really cool workshop with the students. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing. Well, this happened to actually be one of my favorite workshops as a student at ISU. So this is the EVA simulation that we're conducting underwater in a neutral buoyancy facility, which essentially is the, the local pool here uh, with the diving company called uh, Adelaide Scuba. So we have students who have been trained in a scuba discovery course, learning all the tools and tricks they need to work with scuba gear, to be underwater and deal with the new types of limitations they have with limited visibility and uh, all of the equipment and the new sounds. And then we've got a workshop, a two-day workshop, that we're linking up between the underwater crews and their support teams on the surface. So these teams get to work together to simulate an EVA exercise. They get to learn about tethering protocols, about, about the realities of how hard it is to conduct and perform and to support training for a spacewalk. Wow, and you have a special guest technical advisor helping out, don't you? We were very uh, pleased to have with us uh, uh, Italian or ESA astronauts, uh, uh, Paolo Nespoli, and he was on site with us with our first uh, workshop. He'll be there again tomorrow. Um, it, was, it was fantastic to have the insight from an astronaut who has worked not only uh, in a space environment, but who's worked and gone through all of the training underwater as well. So his insights were fantastic. He was giving us old tips and insights and little tricks um, and encouraging us to go longer, go longer. <laughs> and <laughs> you have really some uh, footage of it, don't you? I can do, you, Can you show us? I don't know how well this is going to show up, but we'll give it a try. Hold it up there and let's see. We hope our audience around the ISU world can see what we're doing. Tell us what we're looking at here. This is actually from the very first day. This, uh, these are some of the skills that uh, the training astronauts are learning during their Discover Scuba course. And uh, we on the surface are testing our underwater camera equipment and getting all of the technical and operational equipment ready on the surface for the workshops during the week. Wow, what a great thing. So, and I was going to ask you why the ISU faculty didn't get to do this before <laughs> the students, but I won't go there. So, Thanks, Jim. Tell me, please, when, when were you an ISU student? I was an SSP student at Strasbourg in 2006. Wow. And so, many years ago now. So looking back, tell me, what, what does the ISU experience mean to you? Uh, I had come from a background very, very unlike most of my colleagues uh, that particular year and many thereafter in the space industry or space sector. And I had a background in the arts and also a PhD in human mo movement underwater. So I had worked with underwater technology and people working in extreme and remote environments, but I'd had no contact whatsoever with the, the space sector. So for me, it um, not only opened my mind, uh, but it also encouraged me to further my imagination as to what might be possible in these spaces. And I made, look, honestly, great friends and uh, many ambitious new projects that uh, have stimulated me for years since. Well, thanks so much for joining us this week. The students are having a blast. Everybody's really enjoying your workshop. Thank you. And thanks so much for coming, and thanks for talking with us today. Well, can I just mention one more thing? Yes, you may. Look, just look out for a world first. These students are not only going underwater and networking and uh, working out how to operate uh, this, but they've uh, developed their own uh, what we're calling a down under arm <laughs> as a simulated uh, arm to use on the new next, next ISS. So uh, we'll demonstrate that for you and uh, show you what they come up with and uh, I think you'll be, be very impressed. Very cool. Well, thanks so much. You're welcome. Bye.